gravitation. What is gravitation? Gravitation is the force of attraction between two bodies in the universe due to their masses. In the universe, effect of gravitational force cannot be detected easily in case of two small masses. However, the effect of gravitational force can be seen easily when one of the bodies is very big with large mass. What is the SI unit of gravitation? Since it is a kind of force, its SI unit is Newton denoted by capital N and CGS unit is dyne. Consequences of gravitation What are the consequences of gravitation? The consequences of gravitation are Number 1. Gravitational force is responsible for the existence of solar system, constellations and galaxy. This figure shows the existence of solar system. This figure shows the existence of constellations. This figure shows the existence of galaxy. Number 2. It is responsible for the revolution of planets around sun, natural satellites around planets. This figure shows the revolution of planets around sun. In this figure, you can observe the revolution of natural satellite that is moon around planet that is earth. Number 3. It is responsible for the formation of tides in sea. In this figure, you can observe the types of tide formed in the earth due to the revolution of moon around the earth and the Sun. In short, the consequences of gravitation are gravitational force is responsible for the existence of solar system, constellations and galaxy. It is responsible for the revolution of planets around sun, natural satellites around planets. It is also responsible for the formation of tides in sea. In 1687 AD, Newton's published a law about gravitation known as Newton's law of gravitation. Now, let's learn about Newton's universal law of gravitation. What does Newton's universal law of gravitation state? According to Newton's universal law of gravitation, Every body in the universe attracts every other body with a force which is directly proportional to the product of their masses and inversely proportional to the square of distance between their centers. Here, in this statement, gravitational force is directly proportional to the product of their masses. Means, when the masses of either body or both body increases, the gravitational force also increases and when masses decreases, the gravitational force also decreases. Similarly, gravitational force is inversely proportional to the square of distance between their centers. Means, when the distance between their centers increases, the gravitational force decreases and when distance between their center decreases, the gravitational force increases. Mathematically, Newton's universal law of gravitation can be expressed as F equals G m1 m2 by d square, where F equals gravitational force, G equals universal gravitational constant, m1 and m2 are masses of two bodies, and d is distance between their centers. Now, let's prove F equals G M1 M2 by D square, where symbols have their usual meaning. 
Suppose two bodies of masses M1 and M2 are separated by a distance of d from their centers. Then, according to Newton's universal law of gravitation, the gravitational force F between two bodies is directly proportional to product of their masses. That is, F proportional M1 M2. Relation 1. Also, the gravitational force F between two bodies is inversely proportional to the square of distance between their centers. That is, F proportional 1 by D square. Relation 2. From relation 1 and 2 we get F proportional M1 M2 by D square. Therefore, F equals G M1 M2 by D square. Hence proved where G is proportionality constant called universal gravitational constant. Its value is 6.67 into 10 to the power minus 11 Newton meter square per kg square. Application of Newton's Law of Gravitation What are the applications of Newton's Law of Gravitation? The application of Newton's Law of Gravitation are Number 1. Newton's Law helps us to determine the mass of Earth and other heavenly bodies. Today, we know that mass of Earth is approximately 6 into 10 to the power 24 kg. Mass of the moon is approximately 0.07 into 10 to the power 24 kg and every other heavenly bodies. All thanks to Sir Isaac Newton and Newton's law of gravitation. Number 2. It helps us to calculate the distance between any two heavenly bodies such as earth and moon, sun and earth, etc. Today, we know that Distance between Earth and Moon is 384,400 km. Distance between Sun and Earth is 149.6 million km and others. How do we know these informations? Again, all thanks to Sir Isaac Newton and Newton's Universal Law of Gravitation. Similarly, it is applicable to calculate the orbital period of satellites and also in discovering new planets, stars and other heavenly bodies. Now, let's talk about universal gravitational constant. Universal gravitational constant G is the gravitational force existing between two unit masses which are separated by unit distance. Absorb in the figure. Mass of one body m1 equals 1 kg, mass of other body m2 equals 1 kg, and distance between the center d is also 1 meter. In such case, the gravitational force is equal to the universal gravitational constant. The SI unit of universal gravitational constant is Newton meter square per kg square, and CGS unit is 9 cm square per gram square. As we learned, its value is 6.67 into 10 to the power minus 11 Newton meter square per kg square. There are certain properties of universal gravitational constant. They are the value of G is independent of nature, size, or masses, and nature of medium between two bodies. It is also unaffected by temperature and pressure. Okay, that's all for today. I'll meet you in the next video with new topic. Bye bye. Please do like, share, and subscribe, as well as press notification button to get more videos like this.